2018 Tundra two-wheel drive I want to see what a one inch spacer in the front looks like this is what I got right here currently have 36 and a half inches in the front and 38 and a half inches in the back all right I'm gonna see how this looks like stay tuned Okay, so first you start off with the tail millimeter for the ABS line. There's one on top of here, another one on the side here, and then the brake line, which is a 12 here on the spindle, and then loose, take off the four. 14 on the strut mount up here and then down here there is a 19 millimeter for the sway bar and then after take off this nut for the spindle grab a hammer and hit it right here on the side so that way it comes loose and then once you do that, then you can loosen up the, the strut bolt here in the bottom and you can remove the strut after lowering the suspension down. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come back. Okay, I got the strut out. So it's just this little spacer. It looks like it only goes one way. If you try any other way, it looks like it doesn't want to go on. Just remember, there's an arrow that tells you which direction it goes. So there's an arrow that tells you towards the outside of the, the car. So yeah, so just it's, once you loosen this up, then the whole suspension is just gonna drop and you'll be able to take the strut out. So let me go ahead and put that back and we'll see how it looks. Okay, one side is complete. Everything worked out pretty good. Didn't really struggle. The only thing I wasn't too happy with is now you don't have a lot of threads left on top of the strut, uh, those studs right there. But I made sure I tightened them up pretty good. Put some blue Loctite went ahead and cleaned off a little bit of the suspension so I'm gonna start on the next one we'll see how that goes okay so as always the second one is always a little easier so it wasn't too bad same thing disconnect the ABS lines brake lines soy bar the top uh, spindle nut, uh, the shock, the strut shock, um, four bolts on top and one on the bottom came right out. Put the spacer in. And now since I'm doing this, I'll probably um, rotate the tires from the front to back and 
back to front. Once I do that, then I'll get a measurement and see uh, what the difference is. Okay, so there it is, it's all done. Let's get a measurement and see. Let's see how it looks. So I got 37 inches. I started at 36 and a half, so it only went up half an inch. So I'm just like an inch and a half lower on the front, which is kind of what I wanted. I was hoping for like 37 and a half, but it only went up half an inch. We'll see how it looks or how it drives, how I like it. I might go with the two inch instead. We'll see. Well, that's, that's uh, the result of that little spacer I bought. All right, thanks for watching.